Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Ocarina of Time Gold Cart 3 Heart Run, Special Edition, whatever. And, yep, we just came into the Deku Tree, Deku Tree? Deku Tree. And I guess we're going to get one of its nuts, yay. So let me go ahead and equip that. I don't know if I ever use this, these in this game. Maybe once or twice. Eh. They're, they're useful. So, I don't know if anybody's known this trick or whatever. There's got to be a heart in here somewhere. Every now and then you're going to see me do that. Especially in a three heart run. Like, oh no, I need a heart. Oh gosh, I need a heart. Um, anyway, these plants, if you kill them when they're lunging at you, they'll give you a nut. If you kill them when they're sticking straight up and erect, they'll, <laughs> they'll give you their stick. So I'm, you you can kind of choose what they do and what they give to you. Oh, there's a heart there. I'm not gonna jump off for it though. Forget it. Oh man, this brings back so many memories. So when I was young, obviously like 15-ish. Hold on, beer drink, real quick. Oh, there we go. And this is the map. It floats out of my hands and spins around so you can see what it looks like. And then it explains a bunch of stuff, how to use it, whatever. And then there's a map in the lower right corner. Yay! Um, But I didn't believe this was a... Oh my gosh, shut up, Navi. Shut up, Navi. I know how to open a door. Thank you. I've already opened doors. Didn't I? No, maybe all the other... Whatever. I know how to open a door. <laughs> um... Anywho, oh, these guys. Um, man, so much is going on at once. This guy tells you something useless. You jump off a cliff, you might roll. Great. Um, but yeah, when I was little, I I didn't recognize this as a dungeon right away because it didn't have the 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 music, you know. Do 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 do. do. No, it has all this light, fluffy. Like, wow, is this a dungeon? Is this, you know, what's going on here? And then it's just so much more vibrant world and stuff. You you don't really recognize it as a dungeon. So I thought it was kind of cool. When I finally got to this point, I'm like, it's gotta be a dungeon because they gave me a map. And I'm get oh, I got a slingshot. I never had one of those before. It was just like a boomerang and stuff, and that was it. Blah, blah, blah. Come on. And then it tells you how to shoot it and whatever, blah. This I will use, so we're going to go ahead and arm myself with that. And I like to put it here because it makes me feel like I'm pulling the thing back. Alright. So, if you uh, didn't uh, use the platform, you don't need to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. You can shoot this thing and go doo -doo 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 -doo, and the thing will fall and then you can get across and climb up the ladder. Otherwise you can just jump over here like this and then open the door. Don't forget to open the door, you'll be stuck in the room, whatever. Yeah. yeah, I thought I thought this was pretty exciting. Like, wow yeah, I'm I guess I am in a dungeon. This is this is a level. And it, I'm sure everybody at this point was awestruck. Like, oh man. I'm really doing it. I'm really playing a Zelda game in, in 3D dimensions and... Aww. But the fairy keeps talking to me. And I think Navi ruined it. You know, this game would have been ten times better without the fairy saying, Hey, why don't you try to climb this wall? Why don't you try to open this door? Pay attention to that action button. See how it says down? That means you can jump down. I mean, come on now. All that's in the direction, the instruction booklet. We didn't have any hand-holding in the first Zelda game, did we? No. There's no fairy that came about and told you, hey, why don't you try bombing that wall? That wall looks suspicious over there. Why don't you throw a bomb on it? Oh, I know. Those guys might be able to be stunned if you hit them with the boomerang. Why don't you try to hit them with the boomerang? Oh, sounds like a good idea, huh? Nope, not at all. Okay. Watch out! Oh no! 
So, in case you've never played this game or never heard of it or whatever, the sticks can be used as torches to light these little braziers, I want to call them. And sometimes they do something special. So, keep that in mind when you see those things. Um, and I'm actually going to go this way. Ooh, one standing up. Another stick back. Yay! And that one will respawn in case you lose all your sticks. I think that respawns. You can get out of this room. And we got our compass. Compass, which tells you exactly where all the treasure chests are. Oh, look! Brand new item we never had before. Deku seeds. Ugh. What have we been shooting all this time? Alright, come on down, buddy. There we go. Yeah. That that's that's what we wanted to see. Now, everybody knows a compass does not work this way, okay? You can't like fine tune it so that it points for stuff on a map at you. No, that's not how a compass works. A compass tells you which way north is. Well, I guess technically it could tell you which direction anything is, because you can use you know, just a couple reasoning skills or whatever to figure out the rest, but yeah, whatever. My point is, if if Link was sitting here trying to follow a compass, <laughs> he would probably end up just going north and walk into a wall or something. Ah, oh, beer drink. Oh, well, that's helpful. Um, for this run, I plan to explore just you know, just to relive this, like I was a kid. Like, oh man, there's a chest there. I have to open it. I have to open it, and I think that's part of my OCD. If you guys have seen my Earthbound Let LP Let's Play, <laughs> Let's LP, <laughs> um, you'll know how OCD I can be about things and having to talk to everybody and look at everything and yada yada yada. I did skip the Sword of Kings though because that that's too much. <laughs> All right, so now you have to jump down. I always jump down where the heart is because I think that's. That's supposed to be a landmarker. Bam! I got hit by the gold sculpture on the way down. That has never happened to me. Ever. <laughs> oh well. Okay, let's stand up here. You missed me. You missed me. Alright. So if you're collecting sculptures, I think I'll get at least 50 in this playthrough, if not more. I haven't decided if I'm going to maul it or not. But... If you want to go for a number of sculptures, go for 50, okay? 50 is will get you all, all the stuff you need. So that that is my suggestion to you. <laughs> get 50. Getting any more is a waste of everybody's time and sanity. So how many do I have now? Two? So 48 more and I'll be a happy camper. Sorry. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it in case people haven't played this game and whatever. Ah, I did that wrong. Okay, in order to get that token, you have to do a jump. But not a lock-on jump, just a jump jump. Because apparently Link jumps further when Navi's not floating around in the way. So, make sure you do that. Ah, and then this puzzle actually took me a while as a kid. I don't know why. This, is, this isn't hard stuff. This is not hard stuff. Oh, well. What can you do? What can you do? Alright, and then this guy. Bam! Please forgive me. I didn't mean to shoot a Deku nut at you. I promise. It'd be cool if you could catch him and store him in your pouch or something. This is kind of funny. He tells on his brothers. 23 is number one. There you go. That's like a popular combination. 23 is number one. Well, I guess there isn't really very many ways to mix up those numbers. I mean, you can get 1, 2, 3. You can get 3, 2, 1. And then 2, 1, 3. 21 is number 3. It just doesn't sound as cool. Listen. I don't want to listen. How about you listen? Shut up. Go away. Gosh. All right. So then here we want to jump in the water because there's a button down here. And Navi says, hey, listen, you can dive while you're in the water. 
Thanks, Navi. Okay, and then we have to hurry up and walk over here and... Platform! I missed you, platform! Oh, come on. Platform. I'm gonna try it anyway. Here we go. And platform! Okay. Now, if you're doing the master quest, what you have to do is, like, roll under this. Otherwise, you'll bump your head anyway. I think you can also, like, use your shield and squat down and all that, but I normally just roll. I don't know why. The shield always looks like it's gonna... It, it would hurt you anyway. Listen! You can push this block. It's kind of like the very first Zelda game. You know how you push blocks in there? Well, you can do it in this one, too. I'm here to tell you more useless information that you'll ever, never, ever need to know about. Pay attention to what the action icon says. Oh, gosh. Like I said, better game if you got rid of Navi. Look at Wind Waker. There's no fairy in that, and you can still Z-target. <laughs> right? All right. Oh, cool, some seeds. All right, now we can climb up here and go over here. Oh, by the way, see the little moon signal on, on the blocks? Yeah, I don't remember if that's removed in other versions of this game, but... You're probably going to see that a little bit more often in the gold cart. Yeah. So again, I think I put in in one of the descriptions somewhere. If moon symbols offend you, stop watching this LP, especially from the Fire Temple on. Okay? And I'm sure I will warn you again when that when that's about to happen. Um, I was. Is there something else in this room? It just it's so suspicious. But no, there isn't. I always confuse it with this room. Uh, yep, gotcha. Alright, this room always confused me because there's two... Is it this? Yeah, it's this room. There's two webbing things. There's also these butt munches that jump from the sky. And they always, always give me a hard time. Always! <laughs> Take that! Alright. Watch out! There we go. By hard time, I mean more of a nuisance, not, Oh my god, I'm gonna die from a me! Alright. So one thing I'm gonna point out real quick. Obviously, I can't do anything about it now, but... Behind that wall... Is another Skulltula. But you need to come back with a bomb. Okay? So if you're Skulltula hunting, I know you can go back behind there and get one. Um, also, another thing that might deter me from getting all the Skulltulas is I don't have a rumble pack. I used to have a rumble pack back when, you know, when I was a kid and I wanted to collect all the Skulltulas. <laughs> Even then I didn't collect all the Skulltulas. I waited till the 3DS version came out of this game. And then I had, like, the, the tuning fork. Man, they should have did that instead. Alright, where we got here? Oh, yeah. Alright, so this puzzle here... It's not too bad. I, I'm actually just collecting sticks right now, so... Come on, lunge at me. Lunge at me. Yeah! Aw, oh, it didn't erect. It didn't erect. Okay, yep, see, here's another moon signal. I think they replaced this with, like, um, triangles or something in the new game. If by new game, I mean, like, the not-gold version. Don't quote me on that, though. I can't, I can't remember if they did it on the blocks or not. Would make sense if they did, because, you know, they, they removed it off of something else later, which I won't spoil. Um, oh, what the heck, man? I forgot about this. Might as well kick it open now. Is it a heart? Yeah, it is a heart. Alright, cool. Alright. So then you have to light this, jump over here, and hurry up, and then this one took me a little bit. Roll on there. Oh, no! And then you go up to the three brothers. Where that 23 number one bit is important. Come on, pop out of here. There we go. Okay, that's you. Now, where are you at? One for you. Come on. Boink. Alright, where's number one? You must be the oldest one. Come on. Come on. There we go. How did you know I was secret? 
Navi told me. Ha <laughs> ha. No, I didn't. Since you did that, I'm gonna annoy. I'm gonna tell you Queen Goma's secret. Yeah. Hit her with your sword. In the eye. <laughs> oh, great. Alright, so. Here we go. Queen Goma. And I think that's the name of the one eyed crabby looking guys in, uh. uh, uh what you call it? The Legend of Zelda <laughs> for the for the NES. Isn't isn't that it? Isn't that Goma? Only this time we're fighting Goma without the use of uh, bow and arrow. This time we have to use our sword on the eye. So it's a little different. Kind of looks like the same thing. Parasitic armored arachnid. Oh, look at that. Oh. Okay. Shoot you in the eye. Get out my sticks, because for some reason, the sticks are much more powerful than the sword. How does that make sense? I, I don't know. I, I just playing the game. I don't know. <laughs> All right, where are you at? I want to see your eye. I'm gonna shoot you right in your fat eye. There we go. Get the sticks out. There we go. Six hits with the stick, and that'll do it for Goma. And then an awesome animation of death and everything. Now, I think I've revealed beforehand in a different video that I do have a fear of spiders, so this boss did freak me out. Alright, so that's the heart that we are not getting. Because, again, three heart run. We are going to blast off and take this to wherever. Which conveniently ends up taking us out to um, whoever's saying, Well done, Rizgamer. And it's actually this tree guy. And I don't remember what he says, but I'm sure it's not very important. Bunch of thous. I knew thou, and then thou. Now I have yet more to tell ye. Would thou listen? No. <laughs> no. Thou must know my time is short. Yeah, I do. Shut up. Listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. You're telling me anyway. <laughs> oh God. I told you I don't care. <laughs> I already know this. I'm the hero of time. I've heard about it in another life. In another life. I can't find you. All right. So he's talking about um the guy we saw in the beginning. This scene actually looks really trippy on the 3DS with the 3D stuff turned on. It's as if the blue stuff is hitting you in the face. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, yeah. I love purple, blue, and green. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. And Feror, the goddess of courage. What, no male gods here? Yeah, I guess I can't complain, huh? So yeah, we got the power of the gods just hitting down in there, and then all of a sudden... Boom! We get... Nothing? <laughs> we get Din. <laughs> Actually, no, we get the world. It's not really a big bang. <laughs> it's the big three goddesses. At least in the in the Zelda universe. Basically, there here's your creator gods right here. You have Din who creates land, Nehru who creates love and Feror creates life something like that I don't know and then they they leave but they I can eventually they come to a point where they join together there it is and that's that's the Triforce yay wherever that and I guess the the Triforce is powerful and important yay 
so because the Triforce was formed by the gods, it's, it's important and it's powerful and all that type of thing. But I, I don't know. Every Zelda has some sort of weird legend about the Triforce. So I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Thou must never allow the man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Because if you do, then you'll, you know, follow the path of the original Legend of Zelda and you'll follow that timeline. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that in a different video, I'm sure. Yeah, your end is near, blah, blah, blah. Valiant efforts break the curse, successful. It doesn't matter because I was dying. It's like, you know, getting rid of HIV after you have AIDS caught a cold, you know, you're on your way out type of thing. Got it. I don't know why I compared that to AIDS, but that's the first thing that popped in my head. Alright. Whatever. Alright, so uh, we get this stone. Blah, blah, blah. Now, I did mention something about the Deku tree not being the, the tree in the original Legend of Zelda. But I did want to make a note that in the Wind Waker, there is a Deku tree in there. And it looks like a younger version of this tree. Um, yeah. Interesting, huh? Depends on Riesgamer. Yay! Help Riesgamer, Navi! I entreat ye, Navi. Good. Bye. Oh, he gets to say goodbye to Navi, but I don't. Alright. And then he withers up and goes poof. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Rizkamer. Goodbye. Great Deku tree. And yes, I'm calling it Deku because it sounds better than Deku to me. Sorry. That's the way it is. And that's what I call it as a this a young young guy and that's how it's going to be. Alright, so I think that's, uh, I, wow, that's a long episode, but that'll be it for this one. Next time we head to the castle and play around there. Okay? Thanks for watching everybody, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye!